Ian has identified five important elements to the freestyle stroke. The first element is his body position in the water. For Ian to swim so efficiently and effectively, he holds his body almost horizontal to the surface of the water when he swims. He also keeps his body in full stretch position with his eyes looking forward to achieve an excellent streamlining effect and obtain maximum benefit from his powerful kicking. If Ian allowed his body position to be completely horizontal to the waterline, he would lose the power of his kick. The second element of the freestyle stroke is breathing. For Ian to breathe so efficiently and effectively, he never allows his head to submerge or go completely beneath the surface of the water. His head creates a bow wave, which he breathes behind. He has a high head position in the water, which enables him to rotate his head easily to breathe in. He prepares to correctly breathe in during the arm stroke by having his chin nearly touching the shoulder of the arm that is completing the pushback phase. He exhales gradually after the recovery and entry phase of the arm stroke, whilst his head turns back past the centre line of his body. There are two types of breathing that Ian uses during training and competition. The first is bilateral breathing, where Ian breathes to both sides, one in three strokes. The second is unilateral, where Ian breathes only to one side, one in two strokes. The third element is the arm stroke. Ian is considered to have one of the most efficient swimming techniques of all time. Contributing to that very efficient technique is his arm stroke. The key elements that make his arm stroke so effective are he always maintains a long arm stroke. He always keeps his elbows higher than his hands. His hands are always relaxed and he pulls with the palm of his hand, his forearm and his shoulder. He continues to extend his hand and arm after they enter the water, outstretched in front of his head along the centre line of his body. He performs the pullback phase by scooping the water in front and pulling it back down the centre line of his body, nearly touching his belly with the outstretched thumb. And he gains great force and velocity to his stroke from a strong, lengthy pushback using the full extension of the arm. The fourth element is the leg kick. Ian is renowned in the competitive swimming world for his ability to engage his very powerful leg kick to propel him home during a race. This is the product of extraordinary leg power, channeled through an extremely efficient kicking technique. He begins the kick from his hip, slightly rotating his body for more force, then bends his knee slightly, followed by a full extension of the foot. During the upward motion, he heavily engages his hamstring muscle to enhance movement and power to the overall kick. He maintains a loose and relaxed ankle during the two phases of the leg kick, gaining maximum thrust from his feet. He allows his heels to just break the surface of the water, yet he does not kick any deeper than the width of the body as this would cause more drag. Ian employs a variety of kicks during training and competition depending on what he's planning to achieve. These various kick types include the two beat kick. For every arm stroke, there is one kick. The six beat kick. For every arm stroke, there are three kicks. The four beat kick. In between the two and six beat kick, where one big and one small kick are made to each arm stroke. The fifth element is body rotation. When Ian swims during training or competition, his body naturally rotates or rolls from side to side on its long axis. 
Ian's body rotation is caused by the rotating action of his arms and is a natural movement. This rotation assists his body to engage the large trunk muscles, making the stroke more efficient. It also helps his arms to recover, allowing his hips and the legs to move naturally with the movement of his body and his head to turn to breathe. If Ian didn't allow his body to rotate, it would sway from side to side, greatly reducing the efficiency of his stroke and his overall performance in the water.